Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. We've gotten a little bit of snow outside. Let's go outside and plow the snow. Did I say plow the snow or plow through the snow? Wow, that was close. I almost forgot the camera. I think I gotta do some work now. This was fun. Okay, so here is our snowplow. It is for our quad, our four-wheeler or ATV, whatever you might call it. And uh, I'll show you how I hook it up now. Ah, this is just great. Some of you might think that I'm an idiot for driving through the snow first that I want to plow. All I have to say to that is, you're probably right. But this is powdery snow, so it's not packed. What's much worse is that this thing is stuck frozen to the ground. What a joy. Gosh, we, we have to build some more shelters here so we can put all of our equipment under a roof. Oh boy, I can't believe I'm putting this on a video. It's supposed to go smooth and perfect on a video, isn't it? Okay, so I will show you how to hook this thing up. This one here goes in the back. In the front here, you have this thing here that hooks up right there. And then I just find another joyful thing, and that is that this thing is not where it's supposed to be. So we'll see where that is. Anyways, here you hook up the winch from the four-wheeler. You can lift up the plow with that or put it down on the ground. So, wow. Where is this thing? 
this is so frustrating. Let's go in the workshop and see if we have something else we can put in there. I think these are too short. Let's see what how thick are they? 12 millimeter. That that'll fit. It's just I think it's too short. I think I have longer ones here too, huh? This one here will probably fit. Okay, well, let's go out and see if this will fit. And if not, I'm gonna bang my head against the wall. Because that helps a lot. Okay guys, I think I knew what happened here. This thing was in here, this original piece, and we've driven with this quad with a heavy trailer in the forest, must have hit a tree stump, and this thing bent over and it went out and it got lost. That is my theory, so I'll have to Bend this back now a little bit. Okay, this thing is way too long. I actually need to cut it off. And cut it off there. Okay, I will need another one of these. And it needs to be able to turn a little bit so that this can move when uh, I lift up the snow plow. That's why I need to have space there and why I cannot have it be tied against each other. The Leatherman is obviously not the right tool for that, but I didn't find a uh, find another one of these, what are they called, wrench? Yeah, I guess. So, guys, English is my third language, so I don't know all the words. Here we go, this should be enough for us. We have hooked up the, car, uh, the plow in the back, we've hooked it up here now, and now, We'll have to only, the last part is connected here with the winch. You see how this winch is broken here? Uh, let me share this real quick. I have seen videos out on YouTube where people make like, oh, this is a hack with the winch, you know, um, when you hook it up, whatever. We have learned to never hook up the winch or the wire on the wire itself. You just don't do it, you damage it. Uh, you always use something else, otherwise this happens. Just some advice. Okay, here we go.
Okay, guys, that's it for today. I'm done plowing the snow. Um, when there's more snow and when it's really wet snow, we help out with our tractor and we drive it on big piles. And this quad um, reaches its limit quite quickly if we have like um, 20 centimeters of wet snow. Um, it's quite tough um, when you put snow chains on the tires. I'm sure it works much better. But um, yeah, that's it. So I'm done for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, down in the description, I'm going to link the tools that I use today. And if you click on the links, it takes you to the Amazon store. And um, those are... Um, if, uh, what's it called? Affiliation or affiliate links. Um, so we... Um, you can support us for free and we get a small commission if you click on those links and go shopping on Amazon. Um, also, I link the Facebook page in the description and you can check that out as well. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you in the next video. Remember, tomorrow there won't be a video. We've started to only post six a week. So I will take a break, but I will see you in a couple days. Bye-bye.